everybody and welcome back to my War Games Hobby Channel. I'm at the club again tonight, it's Friday night, and tonight we're doing something quite different to what we're used to. Um, you probably know that over the last sort of three or four, even five years, I've been mainly doing sort of skirmish games like Saga, Lion Rampant, uh, Muskets and Tomahawks, Sharp Practice, that sort of thing. Haven't done any really big battles recently. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in Black Powder and um, Pike and Shot, but I've not played Hell Caesar for about ooh, four or five years. So we thought we'd give that a try tonight because we've got lots of figures from that period that we use for the Skirmish War games and we're trying to have a game of Hell Caesar, but we're, the bases are a little bit all different sizes, but that doesn't matter. So Graham and I have been talking about this for some time and we've decided to give it a go. We're going to do Persians and Greeks. Uh, that myself, I'm doing Persians. My ally is Neil, who's doing Greeks. And then we've got uh, Graham doing Macedonians. And he's got Andy, has his ally, doing a mixed Macedonian and Greek force. So let me show you the table. So here we are. Here's the table. There's, there's Graham sitting over there with, with, his, with his ally and Andy chatting away. And there's Neil, my ally. You can see we've got an eight by six table, which probably isn't big enough for the troops we've got. We've got two divisions each. Uh, so yeah, for example, I've got a mainly cavalry, elephant and um, side chariot division here, with a lot of infantry in the middle. Uh, Neil's got a mixed force of mainly infantry, but with a couple of units of cavalry over there, two divisions. The Macedonians, I'm not gonna go through in great detail, but they mainly got a lot of pike, as you would expect, but they've got a few Greeks as well and they've got some cavalry on this wing. So I'm just gonna do the highlights of the game, which is the usual thing that I do. I'll come back every so often, give you an update of what's happening. But because we're all a little bit rusty with these rules, I'm sure we're gonna make mistakes. I'm sure you'll spot mistakes, but uh, it's just a bit of fun to get us into doing big battles again. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. See you later. Okay, the first, <laughs> the first thing that's happened is that um, Graham bought some cavalry along here he moved three times which is rather good but then I, I managed to charge him because I rolled really well on the dice and I supported them as well and although I took you can see a little four there I took four casualties Graham took seven and when he did his break test he didn't do very well and they've left the field so the first unit's gone and Graham's quite upset I think <laughs> so that's the very first move Right, report back later. It's the it's the Macedonian turn, I think. Yeah, look at those hoplites coming in the middle there. They're coming up quickly. And these cavalry moved around here, facing mine. So I'm going to try and charge him when it's my move. Right, a little update. I'm not doing very well. I, I, I'm my left-hand division here, mainly my cavalry division. I failed to move the, the cavalry up. I was trying to... Um, well, tried to move them and they failed, so that finished that commander. And on the right here, I did manage to, to move my infantry up one move, that's all. And then my commander here uh, tried to order this side chariot forwards, but he blundered and instead he moved to the right. So not a very good move for me. Graham's quite happy at the moment, because I hadn't done much this move. On the right, though, things are looking a little bit more um, well, closer to getting into some sort of combat. The, the cavalry, which you can see there, did charge. That's Neil's Greek cavalry, but the, the light infantry, uh, or the skirmishers, managed to evade. So nothing happened there either. It, we, we are getting closer, and it, very, very soon it's going to be um, very messy. <laughs> very messy. Right, just a quick update. You can see here, these are now shaken. I'm in a bit of trouble here. Let's move those two dice out of the way. They don't mean anything now. Uh, Graham's only lost four. But they're shaken, so they've had six hits on them. And over here, I've had to fall back and I'm disordered. So Graham is winning that, fa that fight in the middle. They are companion cavalry. They're better quality than my, my uh, Persians. But um, yeah, so I, ne I need to get help there pretty quickly, otherwise um, I'm going to lose. So I've got, I've got reinforcements coming up, but just as, as to whether I roll to get them there or not, I'll let you know in a minute. So Graham's moving up in the middle. We've got a bit of a, we've had a massive melee here. Uh, you can see both my cavalry units are shaken and disordered. They're still there, but they're not very happy. Although Graham's got five casualties each on his two companion cavalry. I have got support, 
which is probably what's saving me, but I'm not sure I'm going to stay there much longer. And in the middle, Graham is moving up with some speed now. He's going to get stuck into my bows in a minute. The creations which aren't part of anything. Well, this is hard work. We're so green with these rules, we're really slow. But basically, what's happened now, if I just come round and get my little pointy stick, um, I've lost another unit here now. I've lost two, these two units are both broken. So I only need to lose one of my elephants and then that, that division will be broken. But they're, they're not under any threat at the moment. They're in the wrong place, don't know why. Luckily for me, the unit, he's got one shake in here and this unit's lost five. So they're not actually strong that, down that side, but even so, I'm looking a bit, a bit shaky. Over here, I've managed to do a lot of shooting and disorder two of his units and take and put two casualties on the middle one. So at least he can't move. It is his turn now. At least he can't move with, with all three units. He can only move with one. Right then, Graham. Your turn, mate. Well, my left flank's broken here now. I've lost three units of cavalry. And so my two elephants now are a part of a broken division. These side so side chariots, they've been useless in this game. I've not got them in at all. I kept failing to move them. And in the middle here, you can see the infantry all getting stuck in. And um, we're going to have a big melee here now. I'll let you know what happens. Right, quick update. I've lost, basically, the cavalry division on the left here. Broke. I lost three cavalry units. The elephants were still alive. And of course, the side chariots don't count anyway, as they're sort of skirmishers. And I'm falling back in the middle here. I lost a unit here. And these, these were falling back. So I think I would have lost. Over the right, I think it was pretty much a draw. Um, it was a, quite a big game for our first one. We probably had too many troops on the table. Um, but it was fun. And we've learnt a lot. Next time, we'll do better and quicker. And next time I'll win. <laughs> Graham might have something to say about that. <laughs> right, cheers guys.